Ladies and gentlemen, everybody's been telling me I need to get to the point of the video within the first 30 seconds. Frankly, they've been telling me that you have the attention span of a poodle. Am I cute? If yes, subscribe to me. I don't believe that. However, I will tell you within the first 20 seconds what I'm going to explain through this whole video. And that is that if you go to a smart city, you're going to die. city that's what this entire video is about so if you want to hear the rest of this video about how you will die if you live in a smart city then stick with me with that being said ladies and gentlemen are you familiar with the line the city called the line in saudi arabia the algorithm has been fighting me since i started talking about the lizard people i've been fighting back but i'm gonna need help from you guys ladies and gentlemen i need you to hit the like button in 2017 saudi arabia announced neom a mega city built in the middle of the desert. It was supposed to be a futuristic, car-free utopia, but looks like the project is running on fumes. Do you know why? Because Neom has a $500 billion price tag. It's too much, even with all that oil money, $500 billion. So now Riyadh is changing tack. It is courting more and more investors. This week, hundreds of investors will visit the mega city. They will look at the progress and hopefully want to invest. Riyadh is also chasing Chinese funds for the project. But will that be enough for Neom to take off? Outward from a central location, they would be built vertically in a range. It was to be nestled in the pristine natural landscape of the Tabuk province with minimal impact on the environment. Some mega genius in Saudi Arabia decided they were going to come up and develop and build an entire city that is miles long and is 20 stories high but it's like just a highway, a corridor through the desert. Tell me what could go wrong with that. Tell me what could go wrong with that. And then on top of that, there have been people dying everywhere, protesting, murders associated with the line. The line, a gleaming city carved into the desert. It's part of Neom, Saudi Arabia's vision for the future. But three villages stood in the way of the project and objected to being moved. I spoke to this former Saudi intelligence officer who says he was given permission to use lethal force on villagers who refused to leave. The order said whoever continues to resist should be killed. He dodged the mission in which this man was shot dead by Saudi forces. The Saudi government says he was a terrorist. UN and human rights groups say he was killed for refusing eviction. These are three of the five villages that are now in death row facing terrorism charges. On these satellite images, you can see one of the villages where they lived. Homes, schools, hospitals wiped off the map. The Saudi government and Neom didn't respond to comment. How? In Sam Hell, do you expect me and you? You right there. You right there. You over there too. You right there. How, how, how in Sam Hell do they expect us to believe that human beings who can't share neighborhoods with backyards without having problems? How many of y'all got a neighbor and your neighbor make too much damn noise? They won't get up at six o'clock in the morning cutting the grass on a Saturday morning. You don't need to cut no grass at six o'clock in the morning. Now, I understand it's 110 degrees outside. You won't get it done before the sun come up, before it get too hot. Start at about 7.30, man. Hey, let people sleep in. Now, those kind of things lead to shootouts, stabbings, murders. And you expect us to believe that we all just going to go along and get along and live inside a giant 20-mile long box. And everybody going to be cool with it. Really? Really? really how do we get to the point to where people will want to live such an in such an environment like that what would have to happen to the entire planet earth in order for everyone who has common sense to agree to be confined inside of a city that's a box that basically you cannot leave because the top of the walls are 20 stories high if you decided to try and climb down chances are you would die we know that it's a high technology city so guess what there's robots and cameras everywhere what would need to happen for the to the entire world ladies and gentlemen for you to be forced to live in such an environment because i submit to you that you over there and you over there and you over there do not want to live in such an environment now this newer generation i believe they call them millennials y'all might want to live in some stuff like that caught myself boy you see how i call myself 
Y'all might want to live in a place like that. You might find it exciting. But I'm telling you, I ain't trying to live in that. But no, look, listen. Now, let's focus on attention spans. Let me show y'all some flashy, shiny things and see if we can keep y'all attention. So here go the first flashy, shiny thing about the city. Here we go. Neum was announced in 2017. It was Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's brainchild, a way to diversify the kingdom's oil-dependent economy. It was billed as humanity's chapter, but the project had a $500 billion price tag, and that has since raised eyebrows. Architects questioned its viability, while investors questioned the cost. And the project hasn't made much progress. In 2022, MBS unveiled the line, which will run a 170-kilometer straight line through the desert. It was expected to be 33 times the size of New York City. You see what I'm saying about these small cities? And now, the concept and idea that we should live in a confined space like this, and it's sold to you, oh, it's so beautiful, it's going to be, there's no traffic, there's no anything. You know what makes life beautiful? What makes life beautiful is I can get up in the morning, I can light my cigar, I could drive in the traffic. And I may be just a tad bit aggravated with the fact that the lady in front of me is driving a little bit too slow. And I might, I might even experience road rage. Like, what the hell is wrong with this person? And then I swerve around, I come around, and I look, and I say, oh, man, that's just a little old lady. And now I'm like, y'all leave that little old lady alone. She old. That's the humanity in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're flawed, imperfect people. But we're all beautiful people, but we're flawed and imperfect. And that imperfection makes us beautiful to some extent. And so what they want to do is they want to make you a robot. They want to strive for perfection. Short term future. So in the short term future, I think we want to have human enhancement that works well. It's uh, the horrible shame that people are aging and dying unnecessarily. We could be smarter. We could have better ways of handling our mental anguish. And we need other technologies like uh, in AI safety technology to make our machines safer and better. And of course, science fiction is full of ideas that if implemented would change the future of humanity. By subduing you, making you do what they want you to do. And I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that inside of these damn smart cities, these 15 minute cities, this is what this is. The line is a 15 minute city. Within these 15 minute cities, you'll see murder, death, violence, perversion, unlike anything you've ever seen. And corruption, unlike anything you've ever seen. Look at your average American city. Better yet, look at your average city all around the world. Corruption rules and reigns. So you're trying to tell me I'm locked inside of a corrupt city. But right now, if all the corruption gets out of control, I can get my car and drive and go somewhere else. I can go live in the woods. Then they're going to move you into the damn desert. So when you leave the city, if you flee the city, you're fleeing into the damn desert. That's like them building a city in Antarctica. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to live in a smart city in Antarctica. Yay! And then when you have to escape the smart city, Oh my God, it's freezing out here. I'm going to die. It sounds like something from a horror movie. Yeah. But they're building it. You want to know why they're building it? Because they're not human. They're lizard people. You know, I'm serious. I need you to hit the like button so we can fight the lizards. You see, I have a mouthpiece, no ditty, that has the ability to wreak havoc on the lizard people. And they've identified me as a spokesman that can hurt them through straight facts and humor. And so now they are trying their best to suppress me. If I could just get you to hit that button. <laughs> if you were to hit the like button, we will strike a mighty blow towards the lizard people. I promise you. No Diddy. No Usher. And no Drake. And we will make it happen. But I need you to hit the like button. I absolutely need you to hit the like button. Now, smart cities, the line, AI technology. So now when you start to see everything that's coming out, we did the videos about the AI doctor. 
boom, when you go to the dock in a box, you go in, you sit in a chair, they're like, we're going to take your blood pressure. We're going to give you your vaccines, right? That's in this city. We've seen the videos where you got the cars that's driving and you don't have to drive and you sit in the car. And it makes sense that they need a straight line city for them vehicles. Because guess what? If you ain't going from point A to point B and turning your behind around, it ain't going to work. Because you ain't swerving no, no damn AI car in traffic around me. In fact, it's a danger for you to be in an AI driven car around the average person because they don't like you because you in that car. Think about all the people who are haters. Straight up. I mean, like for real, like you rich and you wealthy and I'm in my AI vehicle that drives me myself. Then here come little me and my pickup truck. Bastard got him a damn AI car. Let's see if I can run that son bitch off the road. <laughs> it's the car fault. It ain't my fault. And make it even worse if you want to run them off the road. All you got to do is be driving next to them in your truck and get you one of them little baby dolls. You know, you go get the little store and get your little, not a baby, real baby, a little baby doll. Get your little baby doll. Roll that window down because you know, screw that. We ain't got no automatic windows. Roll that window down, driving, get next to them. And the guy in the AI car is like, yeah, how you doing, buddy? I'm sitting here on my tablet doing what I need to do. You reach over, you grab that baby doll, and throw that baby doll out the window. Right in front of the car, the car gonna freak out. Oh my lord, it's a baby. It's a fire. Oh, they done. They done. You can do that all day, Tom, man. All day. Let me stop playing. But I'm just trying to tell you. Let me get back to the point. The point I'm making to you is this. All this technology is gonna be rolled out inside these cities. So something's gotta happen outside of these cities to make these places the place where you wanna be. And this is how you know there's two ruling factions having fights within the globalist like whole arm clearly the lizard people are there right and then there's a there's got to be another faction so for example think about it watch this watch this the duality of it okay on one hand we got dj eugenics who has to be a lizard person blocking out the sun right he's over there blocking out the sun uh you know we need to block out the sun because we need the co2 levels are too high and we need to block out the sun because I'm DJ Eugenics. Hi, my name is Bill Gates, and we're going to help with childhood death. And so we're going to block out the sun, right? Then on the other hand, you got these other people over here saying, well, we need more solar panels to get more solar energy. So you got, I'm going to block out the sun because of the CO2 emissions. And then, yes, let's build solar panels. That's two different forms of messaging. That's two different agendas. It don't make no damn sense, right? You wonder why it don't make no damn sense? Because it's all a game. They are pilfering the coffers of your country. They're pilfering your tax dollars. Let's go ahead and roll out this solar energy initiative and get our buddies in place. And we're going to get them right there. And, and, and everybody get some of the solar money. The grant money. All right, now let's roll out these electric cars and let's get that done. We're going to get that money. And then we're going to blow all it up. Blow every damn thing up. And we're going to run to our smart cities. You can't get in this city unless you got money. Outside of this city is gonna be the Hunger Games movie. For sure, the Hunger Games. And you come outside of our city and you participate in this game where we could all sit on the wall to look down upon you peasants, starving, beating on our walls, trying to get food. But I live in a smart city, I'm safe. Yay. I don't care if you die. I don't care if you gone. I don't care about none of that. I live in a smart city. Yay! Not realizing that meanwhile, while you're in that city, you're sterilized. You can't have children. There's sex robots running around everywhere. All forms of perversion. God gonna strike you down. That's what he gonna do. God's gonna strike you down.